So great news, that is the old chain off the wind turbine and I've made the new chain. Uh, as I said I was going to do, I made a small link out of these pieces which was shorter than I had imagined but probably because uh, that is an actual piece in itself but I'll, I'll show you anyway. Okay my friends, very good news, that is the beast gear wheel on and it is a beast. There's the old one. There's the old one. But we're more interested in this one for now. So that's 37 teeth. Let me show you how short the little extension piece is. It goes from there to there, and that's it. Strange. I, I'll be honest, I thought I'd calculated it all perfectly. Sorry. I thought I'd calculated it all perfectly, and when I actually went to fit it, it was two links too long. So, uh, I, Obviously, I've completely sussed out the process now, apart from measuring it up, and uh, it's fine. So yeah, that does have two links, just so you know. So when this link piece comes out, it will work on the bigger of those two straight away without any adaptation. I decided to leave those plates in, and it's just ended up completely perfect. I haven't had to adjust the gear or anything. That's the perfect amount of slack. And what I'm beginning to realise is it seems if there's a little bit of slack, I think what that does, it takes the vibration away from the drive shaft and the motor because the chain itself is vibrating. But anyway, you can... Uh... Ah, this, that's the other point. Unfortunately, for some reason, when I'd made this gear hub, because it was for the old wind turbine, the holes were offset. So that means we've only got one screw in there. It should be fine, but at a later stage, I'll have to drill a hole in there. But yeah, it's pretty much ready to go, and uh, there's no reason it, it won't make a lot of power. I may end up running it slightly differently. I may leave the cheap controller on just to see it's working, and then we can work out the other stuff. But next time you see it in the sky, uh, it will be running this gear with a ratio of over two to one. I'll just give you a view from the other angle. So yeah, that's what it looks like from that angle. And remember, this is a three kilowatt motor, and from studying, uh, looking at some of the videos, the blades can actually go over 300. I didn't think they could, but they can go, excuse me, they can go over 300. If, if the blades are going 300, then this is going 615, okay? Uh, I'm probably laboring the point a bit, but when you see it running, it'll look exactly the same because the blades should be going at the same speed. Obviously, depend, it's all dependent on the wind, but we are in for some extreme winds. Something for the future I need to do this little bracket here that holds the, these things, really I could get away with putting it on the inside, okay, because the closer to the centre of the rotating mass that you get the support, the less vibration there will be. Uh, all the wiring looks in good condition, uh, no problems there, and because of the thing I put in the top of the tower, let me just show you that, because of this simple collar, there's absolutely, I've had absolutely zero problems with the wiring since it's been up, because that takes all the weight of the wire, and if there's going to be any movement, instead of it moving about up here, it will move about at the bottom of the tower, which is a lot more preferred. There's a final look at that beauty. There's a final look at that monster. We've got a fair bit of clearance of the chain. We could actually go with a bigger one. Uh, there's not much room, but just a reminder, that's 37 teeth, and the one on the bike hub is 18 teeth. So that's it. Next time you see it, it will be running in super high power mode. Cheers.